Hey everybody, so mm, I just want to clarify some things. I know I share a lot and based on the stuff that I share, I can see how people could uh, develop a particular opinion of myself that y'all might think that I'm miserable. And yes, I've had my ups and downs as I think everybody does. <clears throat> um, but right now, this moment in my life, uh, I'm actually feeling the best that I've felt in a very, 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 very long time. And I want to say this too, like this thing that I'm working on, like it's not easy. Like I want to be out there. I, you know, I look at people making money and I'm like, damn, that would be nice. Like it's just, I've forgotten what it's like to, it's been so long since I've con consistently made, like we're done work and gotten paid for it. And I've spent so much time doing work and, and not getting paid for it that like I look at people who get paid to do things and I'm like, damn, that'd be nice. Like shit, I, I look forward just to making a little bit of money doing something I good that that I'm, that I actually care about that feels good to me and is, is doing good things for the rest of the world. Like I really look forward to that shit. Um and I would like to be able to go and do that right now. But I can't because I feel absolutely compelled that I have to fulfill and finish this work I've been working on with the hemp and starting a whole new reality for everybody. So that's, you know, a part of my sacrifice is that is me choosing not to go and work a job where I'm going to get paid to do something for some fucking company, which is going to wow. take a lot of time and energy out of my fucking uh, out of me. It's gonna, so it's gonna take, I'll have less to give to the project, to something that's gonna help feed starving children and, and combat all the crime and evilness in this world. So I just, you know, <clears throat> and it does make me miserable sometimes when I continue to look and observe a collective of people and human beings that- My mom and I go to Costco, in a, not immediately, but pretty 15, 20 minutes, I'm not sure. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, just wanna give you a heads up. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. so <clears throat> yeah you know but uh sorry just i got a little off track here but the misery i'm like uh, yeah i get miserably i i feel miserable sometimes when i look at what i see on the internet and that is a representation of the collective and where i see the collective going is not somewhere very good at all and i get extremely frustrated when i continue to share information about a plant that is in the good book that does all these miraculous things and people still choose not to talk about it it frustrates me, it hurts me, it pains me to know that people continue to live lives that are fucking up so many other things and, and they really don't seem to care much about it. And then they think that they're doing the right thing and it's like, wow, you guys are twisted up in so many different ways, it's, it's nuts. Um, it's a giant fucking knot and it should drive you crazy. Like people should feel some type of a way about this. Like just laughing at the situation doesn't change the situation. It takes energy, effort, and grit to dive deep into each one of these topics and really examine and learn about them just from the intent to want to cure the problem. Not because I really want to learn about these things, but because they need to be learned about. Um, so anyway, John Clements made a video earlier today, which I think he just took down or made private or something in regards to like the little people feeling like, like they need reassurance or something. And it's like, you know, I get sad and lonely sometimes and I'd like to have somebody that I could talk to. And this particular person, she used to make videos all the time. So she would be like somebody I could have a going back with. And yet I still feel like she's, I don't even know what's going on, but it's like to, to, to like, I don't know, I guess part of me like, you know, desires having that type of a fucking, not reassurance, just somebody to talk to, like, or to know like what the fuck's going on. Like I just, that in itself is a bit of a reassurance to know what's going on with somebody. And I don't think that's uh, that unhealthy of a thing to desire, you know, to, to like, to just know the truth. Like that's, that's just it. Like the truth, like whatever it may be, the truth. Like if she doesn't, that's fine. If she does, that's cool too. But to know the truth is, um, something good. It, you know, it's not even about like, I'm, I, I don't reassurance of what, like, I, I know what I am. I know what I'm here to do. Like if she doesn't want to, then that's fine, you know, but not knowing sometimes can drive people crazy and it can add to confusion, which is aligned with the chaos and the destruction of the evil one. So people that are choosing not to be truthful. Now, if you're truly mixed up, that's different. I think that's what's going on. So that's why I'm trying to like, you know, back the pedals a little bit here, but when I get going and I, you know, start to get like 
part of getting sober. Like I've been numbing myself for 20 years, so I'm not used to living a sober life, you know, and especially as you become more alive and less numb, like your feelings start to come back. So then it's like, I have these intense feelings and it's like, okay, you know, and then so it's like a lot of it is geared towards a particular person. And so it's now I'm expressing all these feelings and sharing all these feelings. And it's like, you know, is this, is, is am I, you know, being like, is this for real? Like, is this, am I wasting my time here? Like, you know, sometimes I get that way. And so I'll express it. Um, I'd rather do that than to hold it in because that's where cancer and sickness comes from. So <clears throat> anyways, I just thought I'd share that with y'all. All right. I love you guys. Y'all take care. Bye.